welcome back to my channel and to my favorite series that I do ever, Sip and Thrift, where together we go on some sort of thrifting challenge and also stop and get something caffeinated along the way. Recently I've cleaned out my closet and I've done a lot of thinking about my wardrobe and the things that I always keep for seasons and seasons and seasons are staple pieces. I have a lot of like trendy pieces that I wear for like maybe a season and then get rid of. <laughs> Realizing that made me want to find more staples. So today I thought it'd be really fun if we go to the thrift store and try to see what types of staples we can thrift that will hopefully last me for like a ton of seasons and several years to come because those are important. But today's episode of Sip and Thrift is super special and I am like so excited because it is in partnership with my absolute favorite bra company in the world. I actually reached out to them because I have been exclusively wearing them for two years. And I was like, hey, I love you. Do you wanna be on an episode of Sip and Thrift? And they were like, sure. There is one staple piece that you really can't thrift and probably shouldn't thrift, and that's underwear. I'm all about finding those deals and steals and buying things discounted, but the one area that I splurge in and invest in is my bras <laughs> because I wear them every single day and having like a nice fitted structured quality bra makes all the difference in how i feel and how the clothes actually fit me so because i have a nice quality bra my thrifted pieces of clothing look like they are more tailored to my body it's incredible so we'll be getting more into this later but just really quick up front i want to let you know a little bit about the company one thing that i love about third love is they're all about inclusivity and body positivity and they actually have over 78 different sizes and when I found out about them a couple years ago I logged onto their website and they have this quiz called the fit finder quiz and you like answer all these questions about your body and then it recommends like what types of bras will fit you and what sizes and I actually ordered a couple different sizes and tried them on at home because they let you send back things for free which was awesome and I actually didn't realize I was wearing two cup sizes too small it's insane I didn't know that when the band size changes the cup size changes so I thought I was a lot smaller but bra size than I actually was and when I wore the right size I was like my world has changed <laughs> also they have just like such pretty bras which I will be showing you later I think it'd be really fun if together we go and thrift some staple pieces and then I can show you like what bras I would pair with what pieces and like I said I'm just so excited because I genuinely believe in only partnering with brands that I actually use and actually adore and I love this brand so much so with that being said let's go thrifting and oh another reason today's episode is special is I thought it'd be fun so many people always ask me how I make my matcha lattes at home so I'm actually gonna show you my recipe today and we're gonna make a homemade matcha latte let's go thrifting I'm so excited <laughs> I have so many ideas in my head of staple pieces that I need and I'm so excited to see what we find today. I just found this dress and I love it because it's a wrap dress. I feel like it could be dressed up or dressed down and it is $8.99. For me, a staple dress is something that I could wear on a date night, wear to a wedding, wear to a ton of different places. And then I also found this super simple blue, almost like linen-y shirt that I feel like is just such a staple piece. We'll never go out of style for $6.99. Okay, I know it's hard to picture it on, but I just found this super like sexy, silky cami. It's a wrap cami too, which is what I always look for to make sure it fits me. I think this is so essential as a staple because you can wear it by itself for like girls night out and it's so cheap. $3.99. I need more basic shirts that aren't white. This waffle print has been in for quite a while, so I feel comfortable that it will be in for a while longer. I'm nervous about this fitting, but we'll find out. Please, Lord, let it fit. The skirt is $5.99, the waffle shirt is $6.99, and then the staple t-shirt is also $5.99. Everything was $38, which is so good. That's normally what I pay for one staple when I don't buy it at a thrift store. So I'm really excited to go home and try it all on, but first, Let's go make a matcha latte and I'll show you how I do it every single day that I'm not filming a sip and thrift. So six days out of the week, this is what I do in the afternoon. I'm home and I'm very ready to make matcha, but let me preface this by saying I do like the lazy girl matcha. The correct way you do matcha is you have like a little matcha whisk and you whisk in a little bit of matcha with a little bit of hot water and you make a paste and yada yada yada. I do this every day, so I don't got time for that or for that cleanup. I'm gonna show you the honest and true 
not so glamorous way I make my matcha. So it starts with a mug. I pour the almond milk straight into the mug. And like I said, not so glamorous. I then microwave it for two minutes. Two minutes from refrigerated temp. If you have any like room temp milk, I know that they sell them that way. I would say like one minute. Gonna heat this up, unsweetened, two minutes, nothing in it yet. If you wanna be fancy, you can use the stove top. But like I said, I don't got time for that. <laughs> okay, the almond milk is all nice and hot. The first thing that I add in is a bit of honey. And I do that first while it's super duper hot so the honey can not melt, but you know, incorporate easier with the high temperature. So I add about a half a tablespoon of honey. I don't like my matcha too, too sweet. This is the part I do very incorrectly and I'm fully aware. I have this little scooper. I would say, not a tablespoon. I would say it's actually also about a half tablespoon. And I add one scoop of matcha just straight into the drink. And then here's the kicker. This is the weird thing I do. I add the smallest little pinch of sea salt because I've noticed it makes it more full bodied and a little bit, I don't wanna say sweeter, but it makes the sweetness more well-rounded and less of just like a flat, tasting note. Super weird. I don't know if anybody else that does this. To combine it well enough, I have this little like milk frother. <laughs> They're super cheap. They're made to froth milk, but it also mixes everything really well so it gets out all of the clumps. So I'll show you how I do that. Please ignore my dirty stove top. I just... And you have a frothy matcha latte. So cheers to that. I have my caffeine and let's try on our thrifts. Where should we start? I feel like we should start with like the date night dress because I feel like that might be safest. I think I was attracted to this material because it is like a sweater dress and it's about to be fall and winter. And so I don't have any like go-to winter dresses. Most of my dresses are like this, pretty like springy summery. So I just wanted to find kind of a staple. As far as all of the patterns of everything goes, this is the least cliche staple because there is kind of a fun forest green color um, and a little bit of a pattern with this kind of, it's embroidered actually, these little dots on it, but it just feels like a really thick, nice quality. I could totally see this being dressed down with like some brown boots or dressed up for a wedding with some sleek heels and some like nice statement jewelry. Dressed up, dressed down, I could see the whole thing. So I'm also really excited because I'm going to pair all of these things with the undergarments I would wear with it. Okay, so for this dress, I'm gonna pair something a little bit sexier since I am kind of like wearing this as like my date night dress. Ooh. This bra is stunning. This is called the Lace Contour Plunge Bra and I'm gonna link all these down below for you. But the thing that I love about it is like, it almost has this bralette look to it because the lace continues up past the cup. So I just think it's like such a pretty little accent. It's like very sophisticated and sexy. And you got the little third love charm in the middle. It's so pretty. Dear Lord, please let this dress fit. Let's try it on. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay, I feel like the word staple can mean different things to different people. And all of my other things are more of what I think are cliche staples. Like I said, this one is a little bit funky because it does have like a bolder color, a bolder print, and then these like fun kind of like, do you call these balloon sleeves? What do you call these? So this might be like less of a cliche staple compared to the other things, but it is something that I think I'm going to wear a lot and have for a long time, which in my mind is my definition of a staple. I love that it accents my waist and I'll show you the length of this. I think it's just so fun. And then this bra underneath it is perfect. It really is like a bralette but with support. So you could even wear this under something like with a really wide shoulder and kind of show off that lace detail, which I think is so fun. But since this has a plunge neck and the bra underneath it has a plunge neck, it's like very like saucy. Let me show you the length of this though so you can see it. I think that it hits me at a fun spot. If I wanted to make this a little less of like an accent dress, I bet you I could even like do this with the sleeves. So that's another way that I could wear the dress as well if I wanted it to be like a little less funky per se. But overall, I really like it. I think that this dress is gonna get me through fall and through winter and just be like a nice warm dress that I can still wear to like my nicer, more formal events. I want to try on the cami next. I'm a little bit nervous because I really couldn't tell how it fits. And I've said this in episodes in the past, people always ask me why I don't try on in store. I, there's so many reasons, but the main reason is this show would be so boring if there wasn't that like anticipation. It's like fun to like try it on with you and be like, oh, does it fit? With this cami, I'm going to be wearing this bra. So this bra is the 24 seven classic strapless bra. The color is taupe. And this is one of the bras that I had purchased for myself. And this bra is actually the reason why I fell in love with Third Love. The other day I was at an audition where I had to dress as like a girl in a club. So I was wearing this and like a really like sexy, silky cami 
and like high-waisted tight skinny jeans and literally in the middle of the callback with all the directors the clients whatever they're like we're bored of this scene we're gonna have you do uh, yoga on a raft and we were like hmm so I was doing like downward dogs and planks and stuff in this like super like minimalistic silk cami and this bra and it stayed in place the whole time and I was like dang this is the best investment I have ever made and I've had it for over two years now and I still wear it all the time and I'm going to pray that this cami fits because I just think that this is such a good staple oh my gosh it fits and I am so excited okay the my biggest tip for when you're thrifting is to find things that have a tie on the waist because then you know you can make it your size and I love this color this color is like very fall you know like all of like the muted kind of like beigey browns warm oranges keyword muted is like so in right now um, also just I have bought silk camis from years ago and still have them because they have been in for so long so I'm feeling confident that they'll be in for a while. This I would wear as totally like a girl's night out look with like nothing over it or if I wanted to make it like a little more casual for you know working out and about, grabbing some brunch, whatever, I would just layer a cute little cardigan over it and that is such a cute outfit combination. Perfect for fall. I'm a little bit sunburned because I just got back from Palm Springs but a little necklace right here would be such a cute little addition to it as well. You can't see any straps of my bra because I'm wearing the strapless bra. Like, everything's in place. <laughs> That's how you test it. That's how you know. Another thing I love to do for fall is wear a cami over a very, very tight, like, black turtleneck sweater. Super cute look. Don't knock it till you try it. Let's go a little more cliche basic. What should I do? Let's do the button down. Let's mix it up. Okay, this shirt. I feel like I feel like button down shirts are always in but just styled differently like whether it's worn open or worn all the way buttoned up or tied or tucked or French tucked like button down shirts like nice fitted but still a little bit flowy shirts are always in style it just like changes up how you style them so with this I am going to pair the 24 7 lace back t-shirt bra this color is in twilight it's such a pretty like almost light plum color and the reason I love this bra there's not a lot of like additional padding in it, so it's like very comfy. Um, it's good when you're wearing something that you don't really wanna like, you know, show off too much. Still has this like really pretty lace detail. It's a little bit elevated from a normal bra, plus this gorgeous lace on the back. You could actually wear this with something open back, and that would be so pretty to actually like purposely show off your bra in the back. But I think that this will just go really well because this is also the same amount of like casual but dressed up as this is. Before I try this shirt on, I just want to show you the back of this bra. Is it not so pretty? Okay, wow. To me, this shirt is like the classic definition of a staple like if I had a capsule wardrobe I would for sure put this in the capsule wardrobe it is actually cute with kind of almost like this isn't denim but it's kind of like a wash denim color but like a denim on denim look I would probably though wear it with like my army green pants or black skinny jeans um, or even tucked into like a fun skirt but right now I kind of love the look of just like an elegant French tuck and then unbuttoning a couple of the top buttons because the structure can be a little bit masculine, you know, showing like a little bit of like the decolletage, is that what that's called? Keeps it a little bit feminine for me. It's really lived in and soft. It could also be really cute tied. Tying it might give it a little bit more of like a Western look, but also if you wear it with the correct accessories, you could totally pull it off, but that is really cute. It could it could be kind of retro as well. Even worn open over like a plain white tee. And this bra with it is just so comfortable. You can't see the lace detail through the shirt, but it's like a fun little element of surprise underneath, you know? Overall, I'm so pleased with the shirt. Cheers to that. Next, I want to try on this kind of classic comfy staple t-shirt when i was cleaning out my closet i noticed that i have too many plain white t-shirts and not enough kind of like versatile comfy shirts in other colors so that was something in the back of my mind that i wanted to look for i love this shirt already without even trying it on because it is one of the softest shirts i've ever felt and it has a raw hem on both the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt it's kind of a little bit of like a purposeful distressing around the collar which i'll show you when i have on it is so cute and i'm Pairing it with what I also always wear. This is the other bra that I had bought for myself from Third Love, just in a different color. This is the 24-7 Classic Contour 
plunge bra. This color is fig, such a pretty color. Um, it's funny that they don't call it a t-shirt bra because I consider it like my go-to t-shirt bra because it is just like such a soft material. It has a little bit of a push up to it without too terribly much. So it just kind of you know gives you a nice little boost. But my favorite detail about it is this mesh on the top. I'll show you when I have it on. But this is one of the ones that I seriously wore and do wear, I think five days out of the week because I love it so much. So I'm excited to have it in another color now to cycle between. Let's try on the shirt. Oh my gosh, when I tell you this shirt is so soft, it is so soft. And let me show you this little detail around the neck. It might be hard to see on camera, but there's like this little bit of distressing around the neckline that I think gives it really something. Those are the details that I look for to where people are like, I can't tell why that shirt is so cute, but like something's different about it. And it's just those little details. This I do think is so versatile. You can wear it like under a blazer for a little more dressed up look. The cardigan, let's just pull out this cardigan again. The super duper comfy fall look. It's just really soft. I would wear this with sweatpants. I would wear this with high-waisted jeans. I'd wear this with so many different things. You can see the raw edge hem across all of it. This is even like a loose enough shirt to where you could tie it, which I also think would be so cute. If you wanted a little more of like a waist definition. It's like the definition of basic. And this bra, this is what I'm talking about, this little like mesh detail. It's equivalent to like this little de-stressing detail. It's the little details that like really elevate something and make it feel so much more special, you know? Am I crazy? You can tell me I'm crazy. I won't take offense to it. People tell me a lot worse all the time. Okay, one of the things that I am putting off until last, well, I'm putting the skirt to very last, which might be a dumb idea because I don't want to end in a fail if it doesn't fit but it is the definition of like fall vibes. It's cropped, which I love. It has a nice height looking sleeve on the arm. The color of this is so perfectly autumnal. I wore this bra yesterday and I literally showed my friends, I was like, look at how pretty this is. They were like, whoa, Mikkel. This is the 24 seven lace balconette bra and sea salt. I had never really worn a bra with this shape, the more like boop boop shape instead of like this shape and I love it. It feels kind of like vintage to me like in a really pretty dainty classy way and so I think that that would be really cute to pair under this for kind of like a sweet cozy like not sultry you know what I mean sweet but charming. I can't wait any longer let's put it on. Oh my gosh this is everything I've dreamed of and more. It is cropped at the perfect length. I mean I could tie it looser or tighter to make like the crop length different but just putting it on not even changing anything it's cropped at the perfect length for these pants. I know I say this all the time, but I like my crops to hit right where my pants are so that you can see like the full structure of the pants and you can see like your natural waist a little bit. It is so soft. It is so fall. I am for sure going to wear this with both jeans and leggings. Excited. Like this is something that I've had in my head for a long time. And like this, like, I think it's called waffle knit, right? I know it's waffle something, something that I have tried to buy in the past from like big name stores. I haven't found one that actually fits me well. To find one that fits me well, thrifted is huge. And this bra is just so pretty with it. It's just a vibe, you know? And I think with this shirt, I'm gonna try on the skirt and I'm so nervous about it. But with this skirt, Third Love sent me like underwear and I have never bought underwear from Third Love. So I'm so excited to try it out because if it's anything like their bras, it's gonna be amazing. Um, I think this skirt's gonna be pretty tight. If it even fits, it's double zero. I'm not a double zero, but it feels stretchy. So because of that, I'm gonna pair it with a thong. This is their comfort stretch thong in black. And I think that it looks super comfortable. It looks like it wouldn't really show any panty lines. And that's what I need for this. So the moment of truth, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's say a little prayer. It fits. It freaking fits. Okay, I had a little panic attack because I tried to get on over my hips and I could not fit it. So I put it on this way and it fits perfectly. Let me show you a full body. Here is the front, super cute. Side view and a back view. Wow, and I am living for these colors together. Also, no panty line. These underwear are so comfy. I thought I had found the most comfortable underwear, but I was just proven wrong. These are super comfy. Honestly, this outfit together is so stinking cute. It's so cute. I was realizing when I was going through my closet that I just didn't really have any plain bottoms that weren't jeans, you know? So I was like, I should really keep my eye out for something that I can pair with tops when I don't want to wear jeans because right now when I don't want to wear jeans, I just wear a dress. So then I don't end up wearing a lot of my top. So something that is like just a plain color, I feel like green typically goes with like a nice army green, typically goes with the most amount of colors. There are very few colors I can think of that don't go well with green. So I am very excited to call this a staple. It's like this suede material. And there is this faux slit in the front. It, it's not actually a wrap skirt 
but it kind of gives you this illusion of a wrap skirt, which I also think is really flattering. I'm shocked. I honestly considered for the first time and sip and thrift going into the dressing room and trying this on before I bought it so that I wasn't disappointed. But then I thought, no, I want to try it on with you. I'm honestly so impressed and I love all of my staples. They're all things I think I'm going to wear a lot. I think this is probably the most successful episode of Sip and Thrift before because I now know after going through my closet the types of things that I realistically keep and wear versus like wear a couple times and then end up getting rid of. So it's good for me to learn those things so that I end up not throwing away my clothes as often. By throwing away, I mean donating. Don't worry. Overall, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased to have these staple pieces that I can wear every single day and then also have all of these new incredible quality bras that I know hold up because I've been wearing the same ones for two and a half years now. So all in all, I feel set. I feel good to go for fall and winter and honestly for like seasons to come. Today's a good day, y'all. Today's a great day. I am set. My wardrobe is good. My undergarments are good. Everything is good. <laughs> let me know down below which staple piece was your favorite and also let me know down below which bra you think is the cutest because I'm just really curious to know which one y'all like the best. This is such a good episode of Sip and Thrift. I love hanging out with you guys so much. If you have any challenge ideas for the next episode of Sip and Thrift, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for hanging out with me per usual. I absolutely love spending time with y'all. It's my favorite thing to do honestly ever. So that being said, I will see you in a video very, very soon. And I hope you have the best rest of your week. And thank you for third love for making my dreams come true. I love you so much. Bye.